So Jakub, your team wins today uh, by 3 1. So 3 1, yes. So, as I said yesterday, there are good and bad days, and today was a good day. Poland is a very strong team, and we have uh, a lot of respect for them. And uh, the fighting attitude from both teams today was fantastic, and the level of play was fantastic. So, as, as usual, I'll try to take the uh, games in the order they finished. Uh, so, the first game to finish was uh, Isha's game. Uh, in the opening, she made a, a slight inaccuracy. Uh, it was clear that she didn't really forget, uh, remember her preparation. So she spent a long time before she played bishop takes f3. And then the, the next move is should have been knight d7 and black is equal. Instead she played rook b8. Then after knight e5, knight d7, f4. I, I think that uh, white is a good deal better. Um, but then her opponent uh, chose to go into a technical position after knight d7 and bishop b5 which looks appealing because there's this uh, weakness backward pawn on e6 but it's one weakness and black can uh, easily place a piece so she can uh, defend it of course white is better but black can defend and for this reason uh, her opponent tried something active and uh, <coughs> my apologies and uh, it was fine you know Isha played accurately and she made a draw and it was uh, really a good uh, performance after yesterday um, so uh, yeah as I said uh, knight takes d7 was the moment I think white went wrong if instead tried some uh, attack on the king side uh, I, I would have been worried um, but but black also has this idea of, of, of knight f6 and <coughs> knight e4 um, but it's still a passive position so okay we never know how that would have gone. Um, the next game to finish, I think, was uh, Tanya's game. So uh, some people might remember her roller coaster game from the first round, where she showed not great preparation against the Dutch. Uh, but today she had uh, checked her preparation and remembered how to play it. She got a good position from the opening. Uh, I think at one point when Black played Bishop e6. I thought b5 looked very strong. Um, uh, sorry, is it? Yes, b5 at that point. I'm not not sure. Uh, no, it was like bishop e6, d5, bishop g8, knight d4. I think queen c8 was played. Sorry, I'm mixing things up. But I think taking a c6 and b5 was very strong, and then bishop takes c4, knight takes c6. So it can come in, in a few different ways. I thought white was much better there as it came. White was better, but it was, it was not much. Then after this uh, knight e4 move, uh, Tanya made a very uh, very good strategic decision of giving black a weak pawn on e4 and d6. And then the knight from b6 can come back via a4 to c3. It's a very difficult position for black. And she just played really, really well there. And I was very impressed, I was very happy. I was always happy to see when, uh, when a player plays well. Humpy's game was a little disappointment because she uh, played the opening really, really well. Uh, she got a technically winning position, but it was not so easy and uh, there was a lot of counterplay on the dark squares. And in the end, uh, Sochko, she defended really, really well. Um, Especially when you think of that uh, she couldn't play yesterday because she was ill. So today she played and she defended really well and she held this uh, position. In the end, uh, it was opposite colored bishops and it wasn't possible to win it. But, you know, if, if that's the best they can do with Humpy is uh, survive uh, very painfully, then it looks good. And finally, Harika was uh, playing a, quite a complicated variation in black in the Karakan. And uh, you know, this was a good choice, uh, but I'm not sure that uh, all the moves were as good as they could have been, and at some point she was in trouble. She lost a pawn, she had some counterplay, um, and her opponent just didn't manage to uh, contain the counterplay, and it went straight through. And at some point uh, she won the exchange, and she played the technical phase very well. Uh, just. You know, at some point she had a chance of taking on d1 or h5, and she chose uh, the safest and, and cleanest uh, way of continuing. 
and I'm very happy with that. It was sort of like the moment you got the chance, it was an effortless win. So 3-1, uh, we're back in it, uh, I think. We'll see what, what happens tomorrow, and uh, uh, it's always, chess is always fun when you win. So thank you very much. So uh, can you tell us one thing about what you tell your team yesterday after uh, the result? I said the same thing as I uh, said to you guys, which is they're good and they're bad days in sport, and yesterday was a bad day. But it doesn't define who we are. Uh, okay, we had two bad games in the same day, and this can happen, but I don't, I don't lose confidence in my players because uh, they make mistakes, because I've worked with, with many guys, uh, you know, Boris, Sam, and so on, and they also make mistakes and have bad days. And, uh, you know, this is just what happens in sports and it's fine. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. You're very welcome.